Wow, that is a pretty sunrise. Wow. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to Justin Gamble Gamble. We are in Miami right now and today we're making a video talking about sports cards. It's gonna be a little little bit of a different video, but man, check out that sunrise. That's nice. Cue the vlog. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfort. Yesterday was the first day in a long time that I failed to meet my commitment of uploading a new video every single day. I feel like we've built such a strong community here of people that it's just so cool, man. We made this channel just over a year ago and I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't think it was going to get to a point where we have 10,000 subscribers. That shit is so cool. This is not a big niche. This hobby is not that big. The ceiling is a lot lower than traditional YouTube. And to be able to say we have 10,000 people who look forward to these videos is a fucking cool feeling. And yesterday, I always promised at the end of every video. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new vlog. And yesterday was the first time in a while that I couldn't do it. I couldn't get myself to make a video. I, I really don't know what the goal of this video is. I don't really want sympathy. I don't want anything. But I just feel like I have to sit down because I've shared I've shared my daily life with you guys for over like 200 and what, 70 episodes. I've shared with you guys my daily life. In my videos, I've always wanted to be that person who's the good vibes guy. Who's always bringing everyone up. Always laughing, always cracking jokes, always being the life of the party. But. I keep this shit buried deep down, man. My mental health is pretty fucking rocked right now. And I don't ever talk about it. And it's so weird that I'm saying that on camera and especially posting it on the internet for all of you guys to hear. Don't get me wrong. This lifestyle of being able to travel and buy and sell cards is a dream job. I don't want you guys to think that I'm taking it for granted in the slightest. But sometimes, sometimes the stress of this is just overwhelming. Yesterday, I just was so deep in my head, so nervous that maybe like what am i doing with my life is this all a fucking disaster am i punting money am i wasting my life what's the end goal and all these thoughts just are fucking clouding me like my mind is so dark right now i show the highs and i'm definitely going to show the lows and right now i like it just feels fucking weird man if you watch our videos i show the cards we buy i show how much money we're spending and it's not to flex i've been very transparent as how we make money in this hobby we buy cards for like 80 percent all them for like 90%, make 10% margins. But mathematically, the only way to make a lot of money is you need to spend a lot of money because if you want to make $10,000 a month, you need to spend $100,000 a month. That is such a crazy statement. In order to make 10K, $100,000, 10% margins is the only way you can make $10,000 profit. I know what I signed up for. I'm not asking for sympathy. I know what it's like, but dude, sometimes these numbers, I get so desensitized to everything. I'm like, oh yeah, that card's only 500 bucks. Fuck it. Right. And like to me, like a $500 card feels cheap because when I think of a high end card, I think of, you know, the cards that are 10,000 plus. I'm like, oh, this card's only 1200 bucks. Fuck it. This card's only 1500 bucks. Fuck it. The prices of cards don't have real price of dollar value in my mind because I know what I'm buying. I know I can flip it. I know that I'm sharp. I know I can get these cards at the right price. And if I buy it at the right price, very, very unlikely that I'm going to get burned on it. But man, when I just like look through my bank accounts and I see how much money we're spending, this feels like one big game to me. Oh, the price is a thousand. It's not a thousand dollars. That's a thousand value. And I know I can flip. I know if I buy it for 800, I'll be able to flip it for 900. And it's not like, oh, that's $800 I'm spending. It's like a score. It's like, oh yeah, it's worth 800 points. I don't know if that makes sense. Am I making any sense? I will go on my Instagram and someone will send me a $5,000 card and I'll snap it off at 80% because I'm like, oh, that's a good value. Oh, the score of that card is $5,000. And I bought this card for like 4,200. I'll be able to flip it for like 47. That's $500 profit, right? Well, no, that's real fucking money. I'm not asking for sympathy whatsoever. But sometimes when I start to like, I sit back and really think about what the fuck I'm doing. Like, holy shit, man. I am risking a lot of money buying these cards. Luckily, I'm confident in my ability to buy and sell cards at the right prices. But like, man, watch the past few videos where I do these mail days. $30,000 spent, $20,000 spent. On a regular basis, I'm spending like $5,000 on cards every single day. And it's a great thing. So, it's a, it's a blessing to be able to have these cards. But when you like take a step back, I talk to my parents and they're like, yo, like you're spending a fuckload of money. Then I start to realize I really am. <laughs> like, holy shit. This past month I've spent $100,000. Like I never thought I'd be able to ever say that. To me, it doesn't feel like money. It feels like, like I said, this is just a high score. It's a value. I think what the problem is, there's no structure to what I'm doing. I'm on my phone all fucking day long, trying to get the right deals. There's no balance. It's not healthy. So glued to my phone, comping cards 
24 seven. I wake up, check my DMs, is there any cards in there? I'll be out and about eating dinner with my friends and I'm just glued to my phone, comping cards because I don't want to miss a deal because I'm always fearing if I don't reply fast enough, they'll sell it to someone else and I'll lose out on a deal. But the truth of the matter is, there's such an abundance of cards out there. I don't need to be on my phone all the time. I want to build out a structure to really make this shit sustainable where it doesn't get burnt out. I could treat this like a genuine job. I feel like I'm just working 24 seven and there's no end in sight. I never know when to turn this shit off in my head. I'm not even exaggerating. All I think about are comps. <laughs> I'll be sitting on the couch watching a movie. I'm just getting restless because I can't sit there because I need to be fucking buying cards. I need to be comping. I'm having trouble just living because all I'm thinking about making deals, making deals, making deals. And I know that's a race to zero. I feel like I'm going fucking nuts. All I think about is card ladder. <laughs> Moving forward, I'm going to build out a schedule. Go to the gym 10 a.m. to 1130 a.m. Don't look at my phone. Don't comp fucking cards. Be dialed in. From noon to 5 p.m., I hunker down with my laptop open, have card ladder open, have the Excel sheet open, have Instagram on my DMs, just buying cards from those five hours. And those are the only strict hours I buy cards. If I miss out on deals after that, who fucking cares? Because I'm going to come back at it the next day, noon to five. And in those five hours, I have to spend X amount to hit a daily goal. My daily goal is to spend $5,000 per day, which is attainable. If I just sit there for five fucking hours and have a movie on the TV, right at 5 p.m., hard stop, turn this shit off from 5 p.m. to like midnight, hang out with the boys. Turn my mind off so there's a true work-life balance. With people that have normal jobs, they clock in at a certain hour and they clock out at a certain hour every single day. That would really help my mental. And then after that, midnight to 2 a.m., edit the vlogs. I really don't even know why I'm making this video. I guess it's more of a thing, it's more of a rant to myself. My mental is just fucking cooked. I feel so stressed out all the time feeling oh if I'm not the fastest to reply to my DMs I'm gonna miss deals if I miss deals I'm losing money, but life isn't even about fucking money, man That's the one thing I'll say about cards. That's really fucking my mind up is It's so cut and dry all about the numbers. It's all about profit and just Going through my day like going to dinner with my friends going to the beach with my friends and all I'm thinking about is numbers cannot be good for me. So I think that's the fix, at least for now. Right after that 5 p.m. is over, just clock out, done. And if I miss deals, oh fucking well. That's the only way to make this manageable. I need to treat this like a real fucking job. I'm just too all over the place. I'm spreading myself so thin and my mind is too overwhelmed. This video has just turned into one big rant, huh? I really appreciate people who actually care about these videos and tune in every single day. If you guys have cards you wanna sell, hit me up on Instagram, at Justin Gamble Gamble on Instagram. I'm only buying from noon to 5 p.m. moving forward. Got a lot off my chest there. I guess that's it. Please wish me luck, fellas. I hope my mind clears up because right now it does not feel all too good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like or if you can even relate anything, I guess just comment something so I don't feel like I'm going crazy. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new vlog.